Hi everybody, I wanted to make sure I went back and clarified some of the little things to do on the histogram because I think I clicked too many things today. So this is the graph we had of football players. And I now see that I have player spelled wrong, so we can fix that. I'm just double clicking and it comes back. So to add titles, because we talked about if you have a histogram, you're supposed to label both the vertical and the horizontal axis. So all you have to do is click and it doesn't have to be a right click. It's just a click. So when I click, there's a plus, there's a paintbrush and there's filter. So when you hit the plus, it comes up with these elements. So this axis title is what you want to select. And then you just click over and then you can start typing like this would be frequency. I just start typing and then take out the extra after. That way I don't accidentally um, delete the whole title. Same thing down here. This would have been um, weight of players in pounds. All right, so now I have titles. Okay, so that was just by clicking and that showed up. Then to take care of the fact that this right now is a bar graph, if I want to turn it into a histogram, I need to right click and then I need to format the data series. So the thing I need to do is get rid of the gap between the different bars. So I'm just gonna slide this down to zero and you can see now it's all lined up. It's a little kind of like looks like one big Lego piece like that. So you may want to go back and also say like, let's change some other things. Like maybe let's add an outline. So I just clicked, I said, let's do an outline. I hit black and maybe make the weight a little bit bigger. So it really shows up. So that made it do it for all of them at once. So let me go back and do that one more time. So let's go all the way up, there we go. So I go to this thing and I just right click in somewhere, right? And when I right clicked, it came up with fill outline. So I picked outline and I said, let's make the weight bigger. Like let's maybe three point. And then on the outline, let's pick a color. So last time I did black, maybe you want to do like green or yellow, right? Whatever you decide to pick, I guess, because this is the box, I should have done the outline and black and then maybe we do the fill and red because those are their colors they're like pewter right and then if i really wanted to get fancy um, we could change the plot area right that's what we were doing before but i think it's always nice to see what did i do and it says fill no fill solid fill picture or text oh and it held on to the last one i had done so i could go online pictures and then pick something else. Or you could pick something you have. Um, I don't happen to have any Bucks football pictures on my computer. I do have some in general, but let's just throw a little picture in the background. And all that just makes it like look a little bigger, better, right? So, and then you could expand it. So if you want it to be even bigger, you can do that. So lots of things you can do to change it. But I just wanted to make sure I showed how to put that title on. It's just by clicking on it and then saying plus and then right clicking so that we could go over to format and then format does the gap width. So later if you're like, oh, I don't really like that. I, I think the width looks good. It's just a histogram by definition says no gap. That's just the definition of histogram. It's just Different kind of graphs have different kind of stuff to it, but notice all the rectangles have the same width. So it gives us an idea of the one that's the biggest, shows the highest frequency, and the ones that are smaller, like right here, that would be the least frequency.